another Wednesday, and that means another Silver Stars objective. Today, we have Philip Forster, the 74 rated German midfielder. Looks really, really solid, very well rounded card. Taking a look at these in games, every stat is very close to 80, and I expect him to be a very, very good player. No traits to speak of, and he is three star skills and three star weak foot. High, high 6 2. Should be lengthy, should be fun. Let's get into our first match and test him out. <laughs> oh, big tackle! Go, Forster. Step overs. The, the, the three star skills shouldn't be too big of a hindrance this year because skill moves aren't as important as they used to be. <laughs> The step overs feel good. The pace as well feels pretty solid for what the stats show. Let's go. He keeps the ball here. Two man press. We're playing two guys right now. Back to the keeper. Vamos, vamos. Midfielders that can retain the ball is just so important this year. So you need a good silver midfielder, especially one with good German and Bundesliga links to run the middle of your pitch. Okay. Oh, give me that. Forster. No. Losing the ball. I like it. But the way he just exploded there to make that tackle, I'm impressed. That's the left foot as well, bro. What he missed? Big tackle. No. Oh my days. Just stick a leg in there. He's got some lengthy legs. Six foot two, big frame. Yeah, I say so. Track back, track back. Yes, Forster, mate. Against these gold cards, doing quite well in all in all aspects. The YouTube kings bet me you can't subscribe to the channel before this pack finishes opening. Hey, subscribe and subscribe. Oh. Hit the subscribe button. Oh my god, what a ball from Forster. Give me that. Give me that tackle. Let's go, Forster. Give me that. Oh my days. That is a bone crunching tackle. That is pure length right there. You see, I timed the tackle a bit wrong. I hit it early, and he still got there. That's because he's 6'2. That is a great, great sign. Mr. Three Star Skills. Mr. Three Star Skills. Awkward. Oh, Forster. That's the straightaway speed. The sprint speed is good. Send him. Send him. Go, ball. Go, ball. Oh my god, what am I doing? That is hu human error at its finest. Yeah, I say so. Oh, four star coming in from behind to make a tackle. His defensive stats aren't the best, but because of his size, because of his speed and his work rates, he is going to be such a good defensive asset. Oh my god, this guy on the sprint speed is really fast. Like, look at him just sprint away. His acceleration isn't great. Like, you, you see the dribbles right there, it's pretty slow, but when you get going, when you pick up some speed, you really, oh, pick it, whip it in. Man. Oh, oh, I've been running with this guy non-stop for 45 minutes and he still has 75 fitness left. He has 90 stamina and that is insane for even a gold midfielder at this stage of the game. So having a silver midfielder with 90 stamina is just overpowered. This is a must do silver stars. First time. Oh, yes. <laughs> just slides it into the bottom corner on his way for the boys. King. King. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Even the AI, even the AI is making those interceptions. I like this card. And he doesn't have a lot of silver links at the moment, but there will be a bunch of Bundesliga silver stars over the, over the time because it's a it's a top five league. Oh my God, finish on the left. No. And the shooting. He's such a good role midfielder, but I don't think he is going to be like, either insane defensively or insane at attack it's more like he's just average at pretty much everything which is good you just need to wait for another silver stars midfielder to like pair with him to be like really good and style for this card i would have to go with either engine or shadow to for the shadow to get obviously the pace and the defending up just so he can be more of that holding midfielder that you really need and and just to make him a little bit more flexible a little bit more smooth on the ball because he didn't feel good it just what we want to take that next Next level and get the passing up a bit but the biggest things I, I felt about this card was obviously the sprint speed you look at this the pace and you see the difference between the acceleration and the sprint speed 80 sprint speed he is absolutely rapid you get two steps with him with the ball in a straight line he's running and he is flying but those first two steps honestly feel like he's got like two two toes on each foot he he does not know where he's going how fast he's going but once he gets those two steps under his belt he is a full flying midfielder bombing up the pitch from the middle of the park shooting wise high shot power which is always something you want to see on central midfielders especially those with not great finishing 75 isn't isn't awful but isn't great 82 attack positioning 
beautiful. Those runs, as I was saying, late, late into the box, we're really well positioned. We're really well timed as well. Passing wise, 82 short, 80 long passing with decent vision as well. I like that the short and the long passing are, are the highest stats in this category as he's a central player. You need him to ping the ball to all sides of the pitch. You don't need him to cross too much or, or take free kicks. So that is not as big of a deal. And then the dribbling. He has good ball control and dribbling stats. But the agility and balance is obviously lacking. And that's the main reason why we want to put the engine on and make him a little bit more, a little more silky, a little bit more finesse on him, if you know what I mean. Defensively, low interceptions, low, low standing tackle. And that is the main reasons why we want that shadow to get those two stats up. Because defensive awareness is good. Sliding tackle is pretty solid. And then physical. Physical does not need to be touched, man. This guy is a six foot two high high big bulky midfielder who is strong he has 90 stamina as i mentioned earlier in the epi which is just insane compared to silver players and gold players i don't even think both my midfielders in my actual team have 90 plus stamina my other central mid that is silver has 79 stamina so having plus 11 stamina on a lot of these guys is insane so even the other silver stars that have come out christy has 81 stamina and tyler's tyler's magno has 72 so he is daylights daylights clear 84 strength 79 aggression obviously the no traits and he is german from the bundesliga so there will be some some decent bundesliga cards that you can link him with now but you really are going to want to wait this is a card you want to get to wait for when the other silver cards come out from the bundesliga so like maybe to cost it the cost right now looks like a really solid card same thing with this right mid here a lot of these guys are, are decent but but not super crazy you got to find the gems in, in the silver cards it's really a hit or miss with a lot of these guys this guy looks absolutely cracked. <gasps> Holman with 94 pace. Oh my day, 74 rated as well. That is madness. And he gets a strong link to the main man, Forster. So Holman, that seems like a really good link that you could use. And he has some decent secondary positions. Cam, center, forward, center, mid, depending on where you want to start him off. But I would definitely recommend playing him in a box to box role. Maybe even a holding midfielder role, but definitely center mid. Not left mid, right mid. No cam, center, forward. He is a center mid through and through. But that's going to do it for the player review. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.